Hey students, I have a problem and I want to see if we can solve the problem together. What I want to do is figure out which new car that I want to buy. Which car will be the most economical, which car will be the least expensive. I've chosen two cars to look at. Uh, both of these cars I've chosen because they're similar in body type and they're similar in their weight as well. First one is the Nissan Versa, and this Nissan Versa price is fourteen thousand four hundred eighty. And the second one is the Nissan Leaf, which is an all-electrical vehicle. The Leaf price is here at thirty-five thousand two hundred. Now, with rebates, I can get the Leaf as twenty-seven thousand, but I don't want to factor in the rebates yet because. I want to begin to answer the question, uh, uh, what is the total cost of the vehicle? And also the question whether or not the government should even be giving these types of incentives. So what I did is I created an Excel sheet to look at these prices. Here is the purchase price of the Versa versus the Leaf. I also want to factor in other charges such as a destination charge and other hidden fees. The way that I looked at the destination charge is by reading the fine print. For example, with the leaf, if you scroll down here to the fine print, it says this price excludes a hundred or eight hundred fifty dollar destination charge. I was sure to factor that in. I also factored in charges such as installing a charger at home. The price of the charger I found out was $200 and then the cost of installation having uh, hiring an electrician to come in and install this charger was about $1800 after looking at this video and looking at several other sites. So in my Excel sheet I was sure to calculate these hidden charges. I made a total for my total price by using equal sum and made use of my Excel skills to figure out the total price of the vehicle. I also did that for the Nissan Versa and found out the comparative prices of the two. I was also sure to put these in the correct format using my formatting here to format this as currency and moving the decimal places respectively. If you have a PC, you could right click on any of the cells and get the formatting as well. I was also sure that as I did my research, I created another sheet here called resources and in these resources what I what I can do is type in the info for example the price of the vehicle and copy and paste the resource for example I would just copy and paste the name of the website into the Excel spreadsheet so that I could reference it later or turn it in so that I can re reference my data. Now in my final sheet for pricing I have total price of each of the vehicles compared to one another. 